Now keep an eye on all Jerry's accounts. And keep someone watching all the entrances to the bank. Bernie, Jerry Jacks has to be somewhere to find him, okay? I can't stand this anymore. Do you, do you know how miserable I am? Of course you don't. You don't have any basic human emotions at all. But I have lots of emotions, and, and so does Spinelli. I'm sad and lonely and upset, and, and did I mention that I'm miserable? And I know Spinelli is miserable, too. You need to help. I'm busy. Oh, well, I have a broken heart, which is way more important than anything you could be busy doing. And I know that Spinelli has a broken heart, too. He needs me now more than ever. Why don't you be a true master to your grasshopper and teach him something he could really use? Make Spinelli forgive me. Spinelli is my essential person! My life means nothing without him! Hey, Spinelli isn't here! Now you tell me. Well, as long as I have your undivided attention, I can explain this whole situation. Lulu caused a huge misunderstanding about Johnny Zakara and led Spinelli to believe that I am not a sincere person and that his feelings for me are not returned, but they definitely are. And Spinelli won't listen to me, he'll only listen to you, so here is what we're gonna do. Okay, well, what are you talking about? You need to spontaneously tell Spinelli, actually, you don't do spontaneously, do you? That's okay, Spinelli won't notice, just casually drop it into a conversation or whatever conversation consists of in your world that you have noticed that Spinelli is kind of unhappy without me around and you would appreciate it if he would forgive me so we can all go back to the way things were. No, I'm not going to manipulate Spinelli. Everybody manipulates somebody sometime and, and some of us are just a little more honest about it. Besides, it's not really manipulation if it's the truth. You just have to ask yourself, is Spinelli happier with me in his life or without me? He's actually doing pretty good. He's faking it. Well, he started a PI agency with Sam. I know they're at the office right now. Who knows what they're doing? So what you're really saying is Spinelli is dying. Not that you would be able to see it. I mean, why else would he be busying himself with all this new you stuff? You know, I don't want to be involved in this. You guys are going to have to work this out. Okay, fine. fine. Fine, fine. If you want help, Spinelli, you can help me. I mean, you're a guy. Tell me, how do you seduce someone? I, I can't help you seduce Spinelli. Of course you can. You're perfect. You're an emotionally shut-off hitman, which makes you really observant, and you're kind of a babe magnet yourself. Besides, Spinelli's been living here for ages, so you must have observed something about him on some sort of level. I mean, what is he like? You're, you already slept with him. You don't need me to tell you how to make it happen again. Yeah, but this is post-sleeping together, post-huge fight, so this whole situation is different. It's not just about getting Spinelli into bed. I need a whole new approach. I know you think I'm not good for him. No, I think you're careless with him. See? That's what I'm talking about. That was a very observant thing to say. Look, I, I, I promise if I can work things out with Spinelli and get him back into my life, I won't be so careless with him anymore. I mean, he, he's my essential person. He means everything to me. If he didn't, I wouldn't be asking you for anything, ever. Okay, I get that you care about him, but you need to be talking to him, not to me. Not until I've done all my homework. I mean, what does he like about me? Has, has he mentioned anything specific? Maybe I should push up the whole sexy thing. What, what, what are you doing? Ooh, I could surprise Spinelli and wait for him in his bedroom, but that could come off obvious and seem sort of desperate. I need something a little more subtle. How's my perfume? Is it too much? There's always the sewer. The what? The sewer. You know, that's where Spinelli and I came together for the first time, sort of. In the sewer? Yeah, that's, that's when I saw what Georgie saw in him for the first time. Is there a mind shaft around here? Yeah. All Spinelli wants is for you to be honest. That's not true. Being honest with Spinelli is how we wound up here in the first place. I mean, if I had just let Spinelli go on believing that I was as hot for him as I was for Johnny Zakar, then Spinelli and I would be fine. So maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to let Spinelli think that I am. Are you? You're not really listening. That part doesn't really matter. I mean, Spinelli is my essential person, so I just need to convince him that I feel the same way about him that he feels about me. Well, that's not fair to either one of you. I love Spinelli, and I need him in my life. So I'll just fake the physical part. It's completely dishonest, Maxie. It wouldn't be the first time that it happened in a relationship. Look, I really care about Spinelli and I want things to work out. And if you're not going to help, which you obviously won't, then you have to at least promise me that you're not going to tell Spinelli what's going on inside my head. I'm not sure I could. Uh, the business cards have been distributed dutifully. Maxie. Hello, Maxie. No, Spinelli, please don't call me that. I'm Maximison. I'm miserable without the jackal. Like, I was just telling Jason, right, Jason? I gotta be somewhere. Stay strong, stay strong, stay strong. What is it that you need to stay strong about?
stay strong is simply a, a, a mantra, one of many self-affirmations that I use to keep myself focused. So. If you stay strong, you'll stay away from me, that's the idea? Most definitely. You know, I haven't seen Johnny in days. I haven't even thought about him. I think about you all the time, though, Spinelli, because you're the man that I want for real. I've seen how you look at Johnny Sakara. It's not the way you look at me. Even if Johnny and I were to get together, which would never happen, we would burn out in a few weeks. But you would burn, and that's more than will ever happen between us. I'm disappointed that our, our friendship will never be anything more, but the heartbreak is my fault and my fault alone. I allowed myself to hope for something that will clearly never happen. It could happen. I mean, we could be more than we are now. I'll help you with your computer needs. Call the in-house people first, but if they can't fix the problem, I will. I know how important your job is to you. If you think that tech support is all you ever meant to me, then... That means you never really knew me. Perhaps not. didn't take long. I mean, you were just going on and on about how Johnny broke your heart, and now you're with him. Well, I'm glad this is out in the open. You know, you can now tell us all about those secret feelings you have for me. Oh, right. The secret feelings. Well, I, I, Ethan is wonderful, and I absolutely cannot live without him when it comes to moving furniture. Mm-hmm. See, um, unlike you, I can actually be friends with Ethan. Oh! Well, that's great. I mean, if you and Ethan are just friends, then I could go out with him. Absolutely. You and Ethan, he's all yours. You can dump your best furniture mover just like that? Mm, have fun with Maxie. Everybody else has. Oh, Lulu, she's just jealous. Oh, that's definitely it. Keep breaking Spinelli's heart. Okay, okay, ladies, ladies, why don't you two sort this out, and whoever wins, give me a call. Okay? Oh, that's it? You don't want to chase after him and show him the skank that you really are? I don't want Ethan. And I don't want Johnny. I really miss Spinelli. Oh, right. You just want him to fawn all over you and follow you until you can be bothered to notice. Well, that's all over now because you're not fair Maximista. You've lost Spinelli. And I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs>